On the good news side, there is a project that we have, and we're nearing 100, this 100% 100 design review, uh, what we call the theater concession mod. Uh, this is something that predates even my, my, my tour here that Captain Gray was working on. And it just takes a little bit of time for these things to get through, but we're nearing 100% design review, and that's going to streamline the way we access movies, and you can buy your tickets in one line, and your popcorn and sodas and candy in another and line, and that should register through through ad hoc uh, for you know our our environment right now. We just had some uh, some warnings pop up recently with things that are going on in, in Paris, uh, so it's it's a constant reminder, easy place to travel out of Naples, but we still have to be vigilant and uh, and watch out for uh, all sorts sorts of things. Even if it's a peaceful protest outside the front gate that could be affecting traffic or. Um, uh, any anything like that, uh, you you want to be aware of. So and you want we want to make sure that you can get those uh, those notifications through ad hoc. Absolutely. Yeah. So and just let's get rid of your track. And there's a, a family day cruise that's coming up on 28 April, and they're opening it up. And there are a limited number of uh, of spots. I think the total number is going to be about 500, but they're going to go up to the Mount Whitney, allow family members, allow guests. Um, I believe we have some uh, uh, international uh, delegates that are coming as well. And they're going to take the ship out, show the capabilities of the Mount Whitney. They're going to have uh, the helicopter come and fly from HSC 28, and then they'll bring everybody back. I think probably about 1,800 for that day. So a great opportunity to go out and see see the uh, the command control ship Mount Whitney. Sure, and, and it's something that we've been working on quite a bit. Basically, is you know we're U.S. service members and and civilians and contractors here. Uh, in, in Italy, I mean, why can't we get the U.S. content on some of these streaming sites? As you know, uh, it, it gets blocked out sometimes uh, because we're in Italy and, and they have some privacy and, and piracy laws, anti-piracy laws, that, and that's why we get blocked out. Um, there are some sites that will do it if you call them up. I know Hulu is one of them. There are others. I don't know them all. If you call them up and give them your IP address, uh, and they'll, they'll unlock the, the U.S. content for you. Um, if you do that, uh, but for for doing it in a in a in a general way for the U.S. members here, it takes having a stable set of IP addresses that just the U.S. community uses. So we're working with Telecom Italia to get that stable set. But the way that they're structured, uh, it just it just is not an easy thing to do. So they they swap IP addresses from time to time with all their you know million and a half customers here in in Italy. Uh, which were, you know, a, a part of that, the 3,000 or so, um, uh, you know, families that are in, and people that are here. So if we, once we get to a, a solution where we can have a stable range of IP addresses for the U.S. community, then we can go out and, uh, and permanently unlock that, that content. And we have support for most of the content providers. Mm -hmm.